you guys, Nick here and welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about DaVinci Resolve 16 which was announced yesterday, Monday the 8th of April and this is a ridiculously huge upgrade to DaVinci Resolve. So I'm going to go through some of the big features that are coming in the new version that I'm super keen on and you should be too. So DaVinci Resolve 16 is the newest version of DaVinci Resolve. It is available to download right now from their website. I will leave a link below, but keep in mind it is in beta, so you might have some issues. I haven't actually had a single crash or issue with the beta that I've installed, uh, but your mileage may vary. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is the fact that the whole studio software is GPU accelerated, which means those of you who have beefy computers or even laptops are now going to get a little bit of extra performance boost, and they've made sure that every aspect of this software is GPU accelerated, which is just good in general for all of us out there who do video editing. Now, the second thing I want to talk about, which is much more intriguing, is the new cut page, which is basically a separate section where you can edit your videos, but it is separate to the traditional edit page. I'm going to do a full separate video on that, so stay tuned for that one. But essentially what this looks like to me is a very quick and streamlined editing interface so you can pump out content quickly, and that's exactly how Blackmagic describes it. It's kind of like having Final Cut Pro and Premiere Pro in the same package, but again, I'll do a full video on the cut page, but I am ridiculously keen for this. It looks like you're gonna be able to edit faster. No fussing around with, you know, graphs and all this sort of stuff. You can just pump out content, but you still get the flexibility of a full editing suite in the background if you so desire. Now with the edit page, there have been a number of big improvements there as well. I'm just gonna to touch on a few in this video. One of my favorite ones is the fact that stabilization is now built into the edit page, which is where it should have been all along. It has traditionally been in the color page, and which is fine. DaVinci Resolve started as a color software, but now it's back where it belongs, and this is gonna make stabilizing your footage much, much easier. We also now have the ability to add an adjustment clip, which is basically an adjustment layer available in pretty much every other editing software, but has been absent from DaVinci resolve for a long time now we have that there so this is going to add a lot more flexibility to us editing uh, with color grading as well and I'm pretty keen to get started because I use adjustment layers all the time when I'm editing in other softwares so it's great to see that that's finally come to DaVinci Resolve. For those of you that edit big big projects there is facial recognition built into the media sort of pool area where you import your clips this is going to be great if you do have a lot of actors and whatnot and you need to sift through clips not something for myself personally but I can see this being a huge addition for those of you who do film a lot of different people. And again, for those of you that do work on large projects, Frame.io is now fully integrated with DaVinci Resolve, which is great for collaborations. Again, I don't use it, but I know there are people out there that do. So this is gonna be great news for those of you that do collaborate using Frame.io. Now with Fusion, they pretty much just focus on stability and performance, which is good because it does crash a fair bit in DaVinci Resolve 15. And I'm quite happy with the fact that that's what they focused on. There are a lot more built-in effects and features that you can find, but the biggest change in DaVinci Resolve 16 is just performance and stability of Fusion. Moving on to the color tab, there are a lot of additions there. Again, performance upgrades, which is great. One of the features I'm excited for is the ability to be able to copy and paste nodes. This is something that I really wish I could do because sometimes you just want to apply the same effect to each clip and you don't want to have to go through and, you know, delete things and just fuss around. It's just annoying. You just want to be able to copy the node that you made the original changes on. You can do that now. Also, a few things that are built in, they vastly improved the shot match and auto color features and some of the examples I showed just were just like mind-blowing. They also have built-in vignette for those of you that do like adding vignettes to your videos. I sometimes do it and it's good that that's built in, no fussing around with masks. So basically just streamlining the content creation process, which is something to be very, very happy about. And a really big one, which is kind of like a to Adobe, which is going on about their content-aware fill in After Effects, is you can do object removal inside the color page now, and it looks super, super powerful. Can't wait to test this out further and hopefully do a separate video on it. But again, all built into the one bit of software. This is, this is huge. And last but not least, there is a hell of a lot of updates to the Fairlight audio page, but because I'm not an audio engineer, I'm not gonna go through all of them, just the ones that I think matter to you. 
And the big one is that the fact that they have built in this dialogue process effects, which you can just apply to a single audio track. And in that effect, you have your limiter, compressor, de dehummer, noise reduction, everything you need to make your audio crisper and cleaner in the one effect. And it has an auto mode for male and female. And I can just see this being a huge help to those of us who make a lot of videos online like I am now. And another thing that's great is that DaVinci Resolve has built in its own sound effects library, which is gonna make it a lot easier to just, you know, create some cool sounds in your videos without the need to having to download them and get them royalty free, which can be a bit of a pain if you don't use a royalty free site that offers sound effects, uh, can cost you a little bit extra money. So it's awesome that that is now built in to DaVinci Resolve. So there you have it guys, just some of the new features in DaVinci Resolve 16 that I'm super keen on. You should be as well. There are a ton more that I didn't talk about and I will do separate videos on some of the big ones that I kind of glossed over, like the cut page, which does deserve its own video. If you guys have any questions, drop them down in the comment section below and I'll try my best to get back to you. Other than that, see ya.